Hello guys, Maritime Influence As the name itself tells us, this is a phenomenon experienced by places lying in the coastal regions, that is, areas lying close to a sea or any water body may experience this maritime influence. But what is it? Let's check it out. I have tried to be very simple and to the point. Hope you have fun watching this video. Alright, so let's begin. What is maritime influence? The effect that large ocean bodies have on the climate of a location or a region is called as maritime influence in short. Now this effect tends to keep the temperature of the areas, uh, that is the areas lying close to the sea, moderate. Such areas will experience cool summers and mild winters. Now what actually happens behind or what is this maritime influence? Let us look at it first. Now there are a few basic things that you have to keep in mind. Just imagine that this is the land and this is the sea. Now, both these surfaces have different rates of heating, you know, he absorbing the heat and radiating the heat. The land is quite fast and absorbs heat faster, so its rate of absorption is very fast. Whereas, it radiates also heat very fast. So it's doing both of the things very fast. What is the C? S for C. Let's study this way. And S for slow mo. So it's a slow mo. Okay. So it absorbs heat slowly, and at the same time radiates it also very slowly. Now, once we have become clear with these two things, now let's move on to you know the seasons. That is a. Uh, uh, the summers and the winters now what happens in the summers let's first look at the summer season in the summer season now listen to it as a story the sun is shining brightly and it is heating up both the surfaces the land surface as well as the sea now when it's heating up the land surfaces because the land has a tendency of absorbing the heat very fast it tends to become very hot and the air ab above it also becomes very hot when this hot air become you know it's hot so it's it becomes less dense and less dense air has a tendency of moving upwards so this less dense air or the hot air rises up whereas the sea on the other hand has the ability of absorbing the heat very slowly so the air over it would be it would be cooler as compared to the air over the land so it will stay towards the sea closer towards the sea towards the surface now this air which is cooler will move towards the land and the hot air you know will move towards the sea since it's up there so you know the rotation will start to take place now this effect actually balances the temperature or keeps the temperature moderate it prevents the temperature of the land from becoming very very hot because the air from the sea which is cooler is moving towards the land now let's talk about about what happens during the winter season now in the winters you know the sun is not as powerful as it was during the summers and now the land and the sea you know they are radiating off the heat that they had absorbed now the land as we mentioned earlier has a tendency of radiating heat very fast so it's radiating all its heat very fast and what happens off to the air that is above the land it becomes cool whereas the sea has a tendency of radiating heat too but it, it is radiating it at a slower rate so the air over it is still warmer and since it's warmer it is less dense and it moves upwards there what about uh, the land the air is more dense and sticks towards the surface now this air which is towards the surface here has now a chance of moving in the place of this wind that had moved upwards okay so this happens during winters the land air or the cooler air from the land will start to move towards the sea and this warmer air will start to rotate now when this rotating effect starts to happen it balances off the temperature again so in the winters also we don't have very cold climates in the coastal regions the climate is usually mild why is it mild because it the sea is balancing that temperature the warmer air from the sea is moving towards the land and it's balancing the temperature preventing the land area from becoming very very cold now there is one more thing that we need to discuss we have to discuss the land breezes and the sea breezes which are also active in this uh, in these uh, coastal areas now what are they let's discuss those we look at what is a land breeze and what is a 
um, sea breeze now beginning with the daytime in the daytime the sun is shining brightly it's heating up both the land surface and the sea surface the land has a tendency of uh, absorbing the heat faster and so the air over the land becomes hot it is light and rises up hot air rises up this is the hot air that is up whereas the heat air over the sea is uh, cold and it's dense and sticks towards the, towards the surface this air that is the cooler air moves towards the land okay so since this air is moving towards the land you will call this air as the sea breeze so the sea breezes in these uh, you know coastal areas are active during the daytime all right i hope this is understandable now when you talk about the night time now the sun is absent when the sun is absent the winter uh, you know uh, uh, what we talked about the winter season will become active here now in the night time the sun is absent so the land and the sea is radiating heat now the land has a tendency of radiating heat faster or slower yes faster so it's radiating heat very very fast whereas the uh, sea is radiating heat slowly so the air over the land is very becomes very how how does it become it becomes cool whereas the air over the sea is still hot and hot air is less dense and rises up so this hot air moves up and when it moves up what happens is the air the cooler air you know starts to move towards the sea from the land towards the sea and now this will be called as a land breeze because it's moving from the land towards the sea so the land breezes are active when at what time in the night time in the day time the sea breezes are active and in the night time the land breezes are active so with this we conclude what we discussed we discussed what the maritime influence is we discussed uh, uh, what happens during the winter season and during the summer season we also discussed about the sea breeze and also the land breeze and when these two are active that is the sea breeze is active during the daytime and the land breeze is active during the night time i ho- i hope i i could uh, make this concept clear to all of you thank you for watching and if you had fun watching and if you found this video helpful please comment and uh, you know subscribe to my channel and share it with your friends as well